Hey y'all, Duke MacArthur here, and y'all got some dirty ass hands, and I ain't talking about COVID. It's time to flush the toilet on the city council. It's time to flush the toilet on all these turds. Well, looks like it's time to flush the toilet on the city council, because y'all done did it. Y'all done voted. Now, whether you voted to table it or voted for it or voted against it, y'all shouldn't have been voting in the first fucking place without the proper dissemination of all the information to us in the public about these ordinances that are pretty fucking dangerous and is gonna affect a lot of people. See, the thing is, everybody on the council knew this was in the works for at least a year now. Half of them didn't fucking read the goddamn thing. But if you wanna read it, you can just copy and paste it from the same place they got it from, an ordinance in Athens, Georgia. And now we got Nancy, I know the better than you saying, Oh, we should, we should communicate with the public more and talk to the business owners a little bit more after we've already voted on this. Well, shucks, lady, thanks. Wow. Wow, thank you so much. That's like my cousin marrying his high school sweetheart right before he goes off to the military and gets deployed. Then a month later, he asks her not to cheat on him. She's like, it's too late for that shit now. <laughs> but to be for real, y'all willingly withheld this information from the public. It was not available enough. It was not present enough. I didn't find out about the goddamn shit until the Tuesday before the meeting because someone brought in a petition. And speaking of petitions, you can petition in one hand, pray to your God in the other, and then take a shit on the floor and see which one makes a bigger stink first. You see, you can, throw just, you can take that shit and throw it out the window. That's not how we got to handle this. So what is our recourse, you might ask? Well, let's first examine how the very loud vocal minority gets things moving around here. See, around here, there's a group of crotchety old men and women who, instead of enriching their hearts and their minds doing, like, pleasurable things or things that bring joy, like, I don't know, gardening or learning to crochet or just doing things that, that make your own life a little bit sweeter, they spend their days buzzing around like fucking mosquitoes to all these council members and, and the people who lead us, and they bitch and moan about every goddamn thing. Then when their Viagra runs out and their little peepees don't work, and their old vaginas dry up like shiitake mushrooms, how else are they gonna get off except by causing a fucking stink about every goddamn thing? But see, the thing is, people like you and me, we just don't have that in us. I like to spend my days off doing things that make my life a little bit sweeter, or maybe doing something fun with the people that I'm around, that I love and that I enjoy being around. I don't wanna waste my time on none of that fucking bullshit. If something bothers me, I either address it directly or I fucking ignore it. I got better shit to fucking do. I don't want to be a miserable piece of shit. See, the only real thing that we can do as citizens is make every single council person know and every single elected official that we have that votes yes on these bans know that the very next time their seat comes up, they will be fucking voted out. They need to implicitly know that it is a guarantee that they will not keep their seat if they vote yes on these bans. And then if these bans and restrictions do pass, the very next people we vote in will repeal them for fucking sure. So email them, talk to them, do whatever the fuck you need to do to make them understand the only thing that they can understand, the loss of their position and the loss of their power. And to me, probably one of the most destructive parts of this whole thing is we have a population of about 3,000 people. We get visited by about a million fucking visitors every year coming to see us. And I think our police officers have already done a fucking fine job of keeping us safe and keeping the fucking peace. But when you quadruple or quintuple their fucking caseload with all these bullshit ordinances that are gonna make their jobs that much more annoying and that much fucking harder. Now every Karen's gonna be fucking calling the cops every time they see a fucking to-go cup that might not even have booze in it or every time their fucking neighbor's corgi takes a poo-poo in the fucking azalea bush. Then our men and women on the front line are gonna get sick of this fucking penny ante bullshit responding to all these bullshit ass fucking calls and all of a sudden it's gonna be the Karen who cried wolf and no one's gonna give a shit about none of it anymore. I think that's the most dangerous part. They already got enough to deal with with our local fucking drunks and the drunks that already fucking visit us and the idiots who live down here and the idiots who visit us. Why pile on more ordinances and more reasons for people to call the fucking police? Why make their job harder? Why add to it? Really, we just all need to tell this fucking, this current council to tighten the fuck up. Because if they don't, we gonna remove them all just like Rudy Giuliani's belt. I've been Duke MacArthur and I approve this message. Flush the toilet on the city council. It's time to flush the toilet on all these turds.